Boom. All right, what's up, you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. In what is probably going to be a pretty controversial video, I want to talk to you guys about why I believe Bitcoin, the king, is going to be sitting at $30,000 on February 1st. Now, this is a bold statement. I know it's very rare that I'll make calls this specific, but I do have multiple arguments from both a fundamental and technical perspective that I want to share with you guys today and allow you to analyze that data for yourself and establish your own conclusions. Okay. Am I saying this is hundred percent going to happen? Absolutely not. That would be foolish, but would it be cool if I hit the bullseye with this one? Yes, it would. So we're going to give her a go. I'll do my best to make this one as short and sweet as possible, but we'll quickly go over the rundown of the video and then we'll dive in. All right. In front of us is trading view where we will be taking a look, of course, at Bitcoin today. This is the only chart we're going to be looking at. And I want to talk to you guys about the price target that I have set right here. Of course, this is $30,000. You're seeing kind of a lot of stuff on the screen, but we'll dive into the charts and I'll go over every reason that I have from a technical perspective as to why I do think it's pretty likely at this point that Bitcoin does see $30,000 on exactly February first okay so we will dive into the charts to close out the video but first i do want to go over this little write-up or a technical and fundamental summary that i wrote just before recording this just to save you guys time and uh, if you don't want to stick around to the end just listen to this but you know it's appreciated if you do stick around so let's read through this guy and then we'll dive into the charts all right so bitcoin to 30k technical and fundamental summary fundamentally rates are raising and the dollar is gaining strength the quote don't fight the fed was relevant on the right up it's equally as relevant on the right down the equity markets the s p 500 the nasdaq the equity indices look like they're going to pull back as well watch my last video if you haven't yet the one i just posted yesterday which is bad news for growth markets overall from a technical perspective technically bitcoin is lacking volume in an already extremely fearful environment it's 24 on the fear and greed index daily stokes just daily stokes stochastic rsis just curled to the downside we're in a strong and very clean descending channel and lastly btc looks like it wants to play out a textbook head and shoulders which is what i know a lot of you guys are seeing on this charts you probably be, uh, have been seeing this if you guys watch other technical analysts who cover bitcoin on youtube um have been talking about this head and shoulders pattern but now it's looking especially like we are going to actually resolve this head and shoulders pattern which will resolve itself at thirty thousand dollars which is right here okay so let's cover the head and shoulders pattern first and then we'll get a little a uh, little more short term we are now on the daily candles so this is pretty long term and the base of what is the left shoulder so head and shoulders you can see these little round arches i made right here left shoulder head and the right shoulder the base of this left shoulder is at thirty thousand dollars the the 2021 low that we saw back in in mid july and uh, that is of course as a head and shoulders pattern does uh if the left shoulder begins there that is where the right shoulder will end okay so pretty simple here and uh, i know it sounds pretty crazy to, to see what would be about a 25 percent pullback in bitcoin over the course you know what? let's get a quick price range on this just to make sure from exactly where we are at the time of recording it is 2 55 p.m hawaii time on wednesday uh january 19th let's see that would be about a, okay 29 percent correction from current levels down to thirty thousand dollars okay and that seems pretty staggering in what's pretty much a, a 12 day time horizon right in 12 days 29 percent correction crazy but hey it's bitcoin we've seen it in the past we saw it right here and uh it i wouldn't doubt the fact that we can see it again and that's especially true because where we're sitting now you can see here this dotted line that's going across the screen is where we're at right now at the time of recording once again this level for the base here from thirty thousand dollars on that july 21st of 2021 low it took nine days to go from thirty thousand dollars to exactly where we are now as you guys can see right here at about forty two thousand dollars that was nine days that's why i made that little um uh time bar right there okay nine days and from where we're at right now this exact one nine days from now is going to be i guess january 30th February 1st, just to round it off, okay? But nine days from today would perfectly coincide with the base of this head and shoulders pattern or full resolution completion of this head and shoulders pattern. And uh, it would also constitute the bay it would also constitute I'm, I'm sorry a test of this line of support on bitcoin's current descending channel as we mentioned in this guy okay so bitcoin on a short-term time horizon very obvious series of lower highs and lower lows right uh this is the overall a more medium term here but short term uh, i mean high low 
I mean, it's kind of not even a series of higher highs and higher lows kind of is but this is just a real stair step down pattern and uh if we do perfectly test the line of previous resistance right here again resistance 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 broke above it that previous resistance ta 101 is now being used and proven as new support right here if we do see another dump to the downside and again you guys daily stokes these guys right here the blue curled over the red to the downside that's when it comes to short to medium term price action more medium term i should say which again two weeks out from now is bearish okay when those when those bad boys curl up it's good when they curl down it's bad we are seeing a lack in volume as i said the fear and greed index is still at extreme fear and it's been there for i mean for the better part of a couple of weeks now and uh, you guys everything at this point is just pointing to more downside on top of these fundamental arguments that i just read okay so will this happen let me know in the comments down below what you guys are thinking. Do you agree with this price target or do you think I'm an absolute idiot? Just make sure that you rationalize your thoughts. So let me know in the comments down below. Look very, <laughs> I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say about this one. Because again, uh, I knew going into making this video, it would be controversial. So hey, drop some controversial comments if you want to. Uh, it means a lot if you guys give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, help your boy finally get to 50,000 subscribers. That would mean a lot as well. And uh, yeah, I really just look forward to seeing what you guys have to say here. And again, if you agree or or absolute this is going to be like big yes or big no so let me know if you're a big yes or big no but again rationalize rationalize uh your reasons as to why you think so okay also close out the video if you want to know exactly how i'm trading through what again is going to be a pretty gnarly environment the equity market saw saw some carnage today but fortunately for the portfolio stayed afloat because of a few plays so far was a big one and direct hedges to the equity markets whether they be again uh etfs for the vix or short etfs for the s p and nasdaq unfortunately again in the pool in the sea of blood we were floating we were riding the waves riding those blue waves in the sea of red i guess green waves in this situation so again you guys there is always a bull market somewhere there's uh, although this is unfortunate the bright side is as i just said there's always a bull market somewhere even if that bull market even if the way you can make money is by being short <laughs> uh, short the upside there's always a bull market somewhere there's always a way to make money in the market so if you want to know exactly how i'm playing this current market environment in my personal portfolio along with the daily newsletter where i explain my thoughts first link down below 15 bucks a month 40 bucks for every three months really means a lot if you guys check that out there's a lot to help me out and i do I truly do my best to make that worth your guys' hard-earned money. You're 15 bucks a month or 40 every three months. Once again, completely up to you. But again, first link down below. Means a lot if you guys check that out. If not, no worries at all. I appreciate you watching this video. Um, again, if you found value in it, please give it a like. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. And uh, yeah, again, you guys. Yeah, I, I know most of you know this. I should have prefaced this at the beginning, honestly. But I am long Bitcoin. I think that Bitcoin five ten years from now is going to be significantly higher than it is hey maybe it's even a million dollars but as a trader you have to do your best to rash to uh i mean you adapt or get slapped right that's the game of trading that's the game of op optimizing the amount of capital you have to deploy and the thing is say you take profits now it does happen to go down which again maybe it doesn't maybe bitcoin pops to you and maybe i'm completely wrong would be new but if bitcoin does hit thirty thousand dollars you liquidate now you save 25 percent, 29 percent of your capital and you can redeploy it at a lower price and have more bitcoin more bitcoin miners more crypto once we see that correction for the long term okay so there's always opportunity again even if you guys don't want to play bear markets even if, if you guys don't want to play those hedges and whatnot then uh hey never hurts to just have some dry powder on the sideline and uh just stay patient until you see the opportunity to strike. Okay, so uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching. Catch you guys downstairs in the comments. And until next time, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.